Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. So, the fight against the Algols did not go well. So now we're back to Kira. She had something she wanted to do, so... The rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison, or crushed them into a pulp with a shovel, but no. Did you see what he did with them? Now what's this about? Kira, what are you doing? Geralt! <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? I got a whole bunch of options here. So, that you saw that- Let me think. I'm in hide- you mean the per- Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Witch hunt. Including some I've already seen. Changing the sub- Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. All right. Oh, wow. Look at all of this. She is selling every runestone and glyph diagram. All of them. Like all of the regular ones, all of the greater ones. And if we didn't have them already, all of the lesser ones too, I'd imagine. And she's got one of each type of uh, glyph and runestone, along with the regular alchemy sundries. And a whole bunch of books. Sure. Now normally it's not supposed to be this easy, normally we're not supposed to have over a hundred thousand uh, crowns to our name already. And, uh... Yeah, it looks like she's accepting papers, at the very least, alongside the uh, alchemy stuff. So, you know, sell off everything we're not using. Everything we've already read and has entered into the, uh... What do we call that? Codex. All right, a couple of uh, overlapping trophies there. Don't need both of them. Oh, she also buys rune stones and uh, repair equipment. Anyway, something that you can do still in a new game plus is combine lesser mutagens into regular and then greater mutagens. Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why'd the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic and sensed I was no common watch charmer. I brewed him a potion. To delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss and some such. Who'd he want to use it on? He didn't say. Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Why are you so intent on this? 
I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the Isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Which means you don't find it too useful, aside from this one thing. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikaia once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided Rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. So where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the elven mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the elves used them. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fai Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Hmm? Thank you. Alright. Got ourselves a new quest. Which is to go to Fike Isle and find out what the Fike is going on. I know, it's terrible. I just... I couldn't resist. Anyhow. So, yeah, sure enough, uh, it points us to the nearest boat. Which is apparently Kira's. And it also points us to the island in question. Come on! 
looks like we've also got some drowners here. Just uh, in between us and them. But, you know, I, I don't think that other drowner is going to give us full charge, so... Not really worth the interruption. I mean, this video is long enough as it is. And the reason it's one long video like this is... Well, mostly it's because we're doing the whole Kira side quest stuff all at once here. It's going to mostly include Fike Isle, but also there's some extra stuff afterwards. By the way, I don't know if I went over this earlier, but the boat has a health bar. Six health bars, as a matter of fact. Two, uh, two sides, and then the front, middle, and back. And the way it works is if any one of those areas goes... Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait, this Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. I'm going through a tunnel there. Sorry. But yeah, if any one of those segments goes completely red, then ship integrity has been lost and the boat will sink. And this happens because sometimes when you're at sea, certain types of enemies will attack you, attack the boat, and deal damage to it. Speaking of dealing damage... Geralt? Are you on the aisle yet? What is the of What? I can't hear. Great broke already. Sheesh. Okay. Some interference. You must be very careful. So, yeah. The thing about Rot Fiends is that, uh... You can actually... Nail one and uh, get a charge off of it. If you hit it with an instant death attack. If, if the instant death triggers. But it also means that it will explode immediately and potentially cause some damage. So, you know, of all the reasons not to have instant death, that is kind of one of them. Rot Fiend going off right in your face can be dangerous. Drowners, on the other hand, bring them on. few around here. Ugly bastard. Might just get a charge. Okay, that's two. Before I go after the others, there is this little cavern area here. It looks like that's the only reward you get, though. Oh, hey, another drowner came around the corner here. Nice. That's what I like to see. It is kind of odd, though. The way the game points you to one end of Fike Isle when the game wants you to go to the other end of Fike Isle. I mean, I, I could have just hopped back in the boat and gone around all of this. The reason I haven't is because well, this is a game about exploration. And it's also a game about getting Erendite as high up as possible. Or at least that's what this particular run-through is. Oh. Morphos. Uh, that stench. By the way, something else you may have noticed is that uh, 
if they are close enough, if you hit them at, uh, if they're already injured in particular, one rot fiend can set another one off. It's sort of a chain reaction. Unfortunately, though, so long as I'm not getting the uh, finishing blows here, I am not getting Erendite any more powerful. Still, I'm getting plenty of monster parts. And those do come up, even without alchemy. You need monster parts in order to, uh, to craft Witcher gear as well. Nice, there we go. But yeah, I, I suppose you can think of it as needing particular chemicals in order to perform uh, rare techniques that can strengthen materials beyond what you would normally expect. Oh, even more ghouls. There we go. Sword is getting good now. Alright, and the tower is obviously there to the left, but... Well, there are a couple of huts around here. Might be worth it to poke around a bit. Not much else around here. No question marks. Which means I don't have to poke around any more than I want to. Well, I say have to. I don't have to clear any question marks either. You know what I meant. Oh, looks like some sort of hag stomping around there in the background. Water hag. Well, at least it wasn't difficult to deal with. Also, a cloud of bees is coming after me. There's a way to deal with it, which is Igni. Just, uh, yeah, burn all the bees. You are sending out a wave of heat, of fire. And, uh, yeah, as far as, as far as Igni goes, that's pretty successful. Oh, what's this? I wonder what led them here. Hunger or greed. Who's to say it can't be both? So it looks like the tower also has sort of this little compound area around it. Compound that is partially sunken into the swamp. Presumably since it was built. And Let's try Kira's lamp. Okay, so that is uh, what we need to look for. And I need to look for where that lamp is. And, oh, that's the wrong button. Also want to read these books. Just for the sake of those of you who would want to pause and read more detailed lore about the Witcher universe. Incidentally, I have been doing videos reviewing the Witcher series. You should see the second one coming up pretty soon. The second book, I mean. Alright, now that I've done that, I should read this last book here. Someone doesn't like the sorceresses. I'm not sure where that lantern is. It's 
It's gotta be around here. It's gotta be a quest item. You can't... Oh. Oh, Garrett already put it in his pocket. Automatically. Well then. Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie! Millie, what's with you? Ah, crap. Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie! Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So, uh, burn it. Ah! What? No. It looks like rain. No, stay back. Don't leave me. I'm guessing by this skeleton that, uh, he left. And Millie did not get far. Could be a poison, but with all that stuff about rats going around, it could also be some sort of terrible, fast-acting disease that someone was experimenting on. I mean, even the Black Death, you need a few days. Weeks, sometimes. Okay, I'm guessing. Guess I'm not getting through that door. And technical difficulties. Some of what you just saw didn't happen exactly the way it did, but don't worry about it. It's all pretty much the same. Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. The place is full of rats. As many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on... Just Geralt, stop. You needn't be so detailed. The fire is green. Also, the fire is lit in an abandoned tower. Also, it's full of ghosts. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him and the daughter. To the top! So, that's the noble skeleton. Blood. Many must have died here. I believe this all happened during the recent invasion. There are all skeletons around here simply because the rats are ravenous. Also, the lamp can be used as a traditional light source. Why are you going nuts? Rich folk. That will ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench! Hmm. I'm guessing by the lack of rats in these cages and the abundance of rats outside the cages that they did decide to let them loose after all. And yeah, if there was experimentation on poisons and diseases going on here, that was an even more terrible idea than that one peasant thought it was. The big downside of using the lantern, by the way, is that it's a directional light. Uh, this must be the other side of that door I couldn't open. But yeah, it shows you forward but not around you the way a torch does. Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about 
Peasants, I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head, but one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants. Ah, oh, crap. Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head, but one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. So if the lord was downstairs, then whose skeleton is that? And if that wasn't the lord skeleton downstairs, then who was that? weird and yeah the torches all the lights around here are still eerily green just not just my lantern here either hmm no discussion this time Oops. I'm trying to read that notice on the wall, but it, apparently it's just not happening. And up here we've got a balcony. Doesn't look like that's a way up, so... It's just a place for a chest to be, I guess. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Huh. That got me a level. Well, all right then. Again with the female ghost knocking stuff over, not saying a word, and apparently not tied to any singular skeleton. Curious. Where are you? Have you got the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Probably the secret entrance. Well, maybe not that secret. giant levers here and everything. Hmm. I did see the other one over here. So... You gonna open yet, or...? Okay, there we go. Just had to get the second one twice, just so we had to pull it down, because the handprint was at the top. That's where he was trying to get leverage from. Looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped, too. Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who 
kill you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? Don't be afraid. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich, believed we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. Before I later awoke, I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens, hundreds, and I couldn't move. Sleeping potion, effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere, all over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? God damn. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man. Looked like a monster had attacked him recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. How defensive. Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. Your 
different. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest, should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him, he must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? This does not sound like a good idea. Really sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone would finally take pity on me. They also say that witchers are no fools. Oh great, and now the rats are after me too. At least that's the rest taken care of. Okay, what have we got here? Huh. Apparently he's experimenting on the rats. We talked about the Catriona Plague. Then he's also got people in jars. That's no good. Okay, more stuff. Big black rat. Hmm. Something killed the rat without creating any signs of illness beforehand. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. Yeah, but the Conclave kind of got wiped out. It was this whole thing. Fairly early on in the books. Lodge of Sorceresses took over after that. Okay, I guess the rats are back now that I stepped outside of the room for a second. 
sorry if that was a little bit uh, disorienting there with swinging the sword around while also swinging the lantern around. But yeah, this is the direction I wanted to go. Up. Not down, but up. Because, yes, there is more up to this tower. Also, according to the minimap, there's some place where I can use my lantern, but it's somewhere below me. That's what the little red arrow underneath the icon means. Kept in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. Yeah. Peasants freed the rats, but not the people. Maybe they didn't find their way. I mean, they must have... Yeah, they, they did get into the laboratory. That's how they got Annabelle. And of course, yes, we uh, left the room and now it's full of rats again. I mean, I suppose if there was any kind of creature that would keep respawning rapidly in game terms, I could see it being rats. The rest of them aren't so aggressive, though. Guess that's something. But yeah, speaking of shitty ways to die, Annabelle. Jesus. No wonder she's upset. No wonder she's a, a wraith. A phantom. No wonder she wants revenge against everyone who did anything against her. Okay, are we, are we down to the ground floor yet? Not the, not the ground floor. The exit floor. Yes, we are. Thank goodness. Okay. So, Annabelle is a Plague Maiden, a.k.a. a Pesta. Also, she is accompanied by a swarm of bees. Perhaps I should do something about that. And now that I have... Oh, great. She made more of them. Okay, that appears to have made the bees disappear. Oh, no. No, they're still around. I suppose they're, f they're uh, biting flies in this case. Damn it. At least she's taking damage at a reasonable rate. And I believe the flies are dealing me damage. But it sounded for a moment like you joined the race yourself. Had to fight a pester. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curse before you lunged at her sword in hand? Yeah, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. Right, luckily, there is a fast travel signpost right next to the aisle. And I've already been to Oriton. So. At least this part is nice and quick. What's this? She gives me an amulet, says it'll quench his thirst. And next, he traded it for a jack of feudal duties to the new Nilf Guardian Lords. I guess. Can you jump off all the monsters then? And let's see, past all of this, who do we have? Oh, no wonder I didn't run into him. I'm off at the edge of the waters here. Won't be ouch. Why have you been following me? Just wondering what you want from him, from Graham. Me? Didn't want nothing. It's his mother be worried about him. Been locked in his hut since he came back from the aisle. Talks to no soul. 
Love's misery curdled his brains, I reckon. I guess that bodes well. Can this be the witch, man, the freak of nature. I want to talk. You're deaf, damn it. I told you. Who are you? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through. Believed we'd be together. Of course. It was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. For Millie, Finch and Faulkner, they rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me since I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. First, then she drank the poison. The mage must have gave it her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower. The island. What exactly did you say? I remember. I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her? Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. You mean... She was alive the whole time? But... Can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought. It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I'd have noticed she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> but there's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden. A powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Gods! She hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes, go to the tower, talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never have left her there otherwise. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her, and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. 
I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. Nothing. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go to the tower. All right, and here we are. Oh, but we're not alone. Got a bunch of ghosts around here. I waited long enough for revenge. Last and now he comes to us on his own. Annabelle and me. It weren't impossible. We could have been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. Can't change the past, but you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. All right. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. Any other ghosts feel like interrupting? Or is it just peasants? I remember the screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. Yep, that's what happens after a massacre. Don't think about that. Keep walking. All right, almost at the pest's lair. Hope we don't have to fight her again. Probably don't have to. You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. Is... is... is that...? <sighs> it's me, Annabelle. The one you abandoned, remember? I was sure you was dead. If I'd known otherwise, I'd never have left you. I'd do anything for you. I would. You You know that well. Believe me, I beg you. Prove it. Kiss me. Graham, careful. Saw that coming. At last. The curse is lifted, and Graham and Annabella are reunited. True love can uh, be a real bastard sometimes. At the same time, there's something oddly fitting about that end. Something that makes it bittersweet rather than just a tragedy. And yes, overall evaluation, torch much better than just that lantern. Now let's get the hell out of here. Back to Kira, back to mid cops.
And by the way, you know that uh, the, the directions we got are really not the most direct path over. It's this uh, little side path here that will get us quicker to Kira's hut. Can, can we can we shut that? It's kind of a hazard. No. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Tell me more about this mage from the Isle. Were you too close? Never expected you'd take such an interest in my private life. More interested to know if you bonded as fellow magic practitioners. Well, we had little in common in that arena. Oh, Alexander was one of those anxious experimenters, forever short on sleep. The kind that thinks perfect happiness is an isolated tower and a full set of vials and alembics. Fike Isles free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pester involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, he's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Blackbow. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. So, she would give anything to see his notes. Faster. But he guarded them jealously, except he's not guarding them anymore. He's dead. And now the curse that was plaguing Feigile is also gone. The one that was killing people who dared approach. Yeah, a couple of mounted uh, bandits, I guess, there. Oh well. Don't really have time or patience to deal with them. Not when I've got a caravan to look for. And yet apparently they've got the patience for me. They're... Oh wait, hang on. Drowners underwater. Hmm. Could be related. I mean, simply from the fact that Geralt said anything about it. Oh. Quinn knocked her down. And there we go. And I am still in combat mode. You can tell because even when I put the sword away, Geralt puts his fists up. Damn, dude, you are just tenacious. Damn, you're ugly. Okay, good. Got him with the lingering damage. And while the horse had, like, a red health bar, it ran away. 
Horse doesn't need this shit. Wide, heavy wheels. Merchant's wagon. Alright, because that's what we're looking for here. Well, I'm not sure which direction. I'm guessing the other way. Yep, sure enough. Here we... Oh. Hang on. Something going wrong. Must have encountered the drowners at this point. Going way off course now. Yeah, merchant traveling across Velen alone. No way that was going to end well. I think even... Leftovers, cuts of meat, cataplepis. Wonder what spell requires that. A dry red from Zubaran. Southern slope. Notes of... Black currant and citrus. Ah, pains the heart. Hagger's still intact. Don't sense anything magic, though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. Human, from an artery. Can't be far. Wouldn't have made it. Well, oh. yeah, here, waited for help. That's coming for you. Yeah, as I was saying, I get the impression that uh, Velen is not a good place for lone merchants, even when there isn't a war on that's ravaging the land and causing patrols to uh, disappear. And yet this guy thought he was smart, thought he could outsmart the system. Thought that bodyguards were just a waste of time and money. Nope. Anyhow, apparently Kira is looking for luxury goods rather than spell components at the moment. Not sure if Geralt has figured that out yet. those uh, substances you wanted. Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns. But first, I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you. But you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. The cane's really painful. Third mouse, what happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% .67 chance of success. I always use one more than I need. Just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now, to return to the fairy tale... I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, 
What do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? Oh, Geralt, don't kid yourself. Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gavella Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Don't know why she commented on the neckline. It's the same as before. But yeah. It's a horse race. I'm gonna win it. Man, is she even trying? Normally the AI is better able to keep up than that. I mean, on the other hand, this horse uh, doesn't have all the upgrades that Roach does. So I do need to slow down every once in a while. But I can still stay ahead of Kira. Oh, hey, there's a quest here. Might have to double back and see what that's all about. Oh, I guess we're here. <laughs> Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Could have just told me what this was about, Rhino. <laughs> Geralt, run to the woods and fetch my shopping. I'd like to make dinner. Well, would you have helped? If I'd known I'd get a glass of Zubaran dry in return, of course. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. Hmm. How, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, you'd think the only work to be had in Velen would be in farming. <laughs> Very true. So, I've two options. I can either start cultivating turnips or leave. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. Fishing, are we? Didn't destroy that workshop, if that's what you're asking. Didn't see any reason to. If Alexander's findings were to fall into the wrong hands. Although, Fikile has a terrible reputation. None even dare go there. Perhaps there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a gloomy subject to broach. I simply shouldn't have, not during our romantic dinner. Romantic? Thought we came here as friends. Friends. With benefits. So... Sorry, just met with Yennefer again. She's still pissed off about the Triss thing, so... Sorry, there's someone else. <laughs> so what? Oh, Geralt, Geralt. You're so old-fashioned. Will you at least lie down and gaze at the stars with me? Hmm. Why not?
hat. Know what they call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no, it has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Egfane Navi. Sleep spell. Oh, of course. Kira, where? Put me to sleep with a spell. It means she's up to something. Don't know why she didn't just. <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower. Why she didn't just, you know, wait for Geralt to leave as he does, and then go to Fike Isle. But, yeah, I think there was enough going on that you'd have gotten suspicious regardless. You as in the player could have, you know, figured out that there was something up. And possibly Geralt too, also deserving of a quest, but... Well, at the same time, she, you know... Still wanted to have a nice night out with a, an old friend. Not a good friend, not exactly, but still a, someone she knows and enjoys the company of, at the very least. And yeah, there's no way we're getting over there just by, uh... just by swimming. I mean, we can. It's always an option. But the boat is much faster on the water than Geralt is. So, even with running over to the town to grab a boat, this is still faster. And yeah, you, you cannot approach by sea. There is an opening here, but there are also a whole bunch of stakes stuck into the ground just to block the way. Yeah. Kind of hit the ground there. But that's fine. There's a fast travel point over here. So we can use that to get off the island. Anyway, let's see what Kira's up to, as if we didn't know. I have a talk to her about her intentions, and why she needed him to be asleep. A light. Top floor of the tower. There are three ways this encounter can end, by the way. For. Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? You used me. Oh, please. I merely seized an opportunity. If I'd known you just wanted Alexander's notes, I'd never have helped you lift the curse from Fike Isle. All right. Perhaps I wasn't completely honest. Didn't quite toe the line. But I knew you'd manage. You're so manly and all. Geralty poo. Wipe that frown off your face, or I might think you don't like me anymore. Didn't come here to play games. I want to know what you're up to. Naturally, you suspect me of the worst. I don't deserve that. My intentions are pure, like a virgin's tears. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? Nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. Radovid doesn't forget. 
And Radovid doesn't forgive, especially when it comes to sorceresses. He'll make an exception for me. He'll have to. I have something he wants. Please, you don't believe that. Well, you believe Yennefer will stop treating you like a dog someday. Don't see me laughing. I'm going to see Radovid. Tell him of this research, whether you like it or not. This is suicide, Kira. You'll wind up tied to a stake, burned to bolster the morals of the masses while entertaining them. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Well, there is one option. Got another option. Go to Kaer Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? As long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. So, see you at Caramoran. Beds free of bedbugs, mostly. <laughs> I long to be there already. See you, Geralt. There's really no point in taking the notes away from her. She she can definitely do more with them than Carol could. Anyway, if Kira went to Radovid, Radovid would kill her. And if Geralt tried to stop her any other way, they would have fought and Geralt would have killed her. 